It once happened, uh, a rabbit was romping around, Tch, springtime, you know, mad as a March hare. But then he heard a frog making desperate calls as if there was a pandemic. So the rabbit went about investigating, where is he calling from? Then he found a hole in which the frog was sitting and then the rabbit asked, what are you doing in this hole? Why are you screaming? The frog said, uh, I fell into this hole, I'm not able to get out. The rabbit said, just hold on, I will go get a ladder for you. So went out to procure a ladder. So after some time he got the ladder and came back. But he found the frog was already sitting outside the hole. Then the rabbit asked, how did you get out? Well, after you left, a snake came into the hole, so I got out. So uh, now the snake has entered the hole, everybody needs to jump to their fullest capability, every one of you. Every one of you, wherever you are, whatever you're doing in your life, you must come to your fullest capability. This is the time. If we know how to make use of this time, we can come back with renewed strength and energy. So, this anxiety and concern, let's keep it aside, this time that we have, this two to three weeks time that we have on our hands, everybody should commit themselves, physically, mentally, emotionally and in terms of whatever work we're doing, the competence that we have. If we just aim at improving ourselves, upgrading ourselves by ten percent, ten percent improvement in every human being will set the nation at a different pitch and possibility. Every human being can write down, what is my physical fitness? You don't need a medical evaluation, you can say, where am I? What is my idea of ten percent improvement? What is my mental capability, ten percent improvement, my emotional stability, ten percent improvement, my competence in my work, ten percent improvement. If everybody, according to their own standards, if they strive for this, we will have a different nation going. There are situations outside, there are impediments, challenges, but your own mind, your own emotion, your own attitude should not become an impediment and a challenge. If you are not a challenge to yourself, rest we will handle to the best of our capabilities.